So you probably watched Charms if you were growing up in the 90s or even now that it's been on Netflix. As for me, I'm rewatching the whole show before they take it off in January because I've loved the show since forever and all the actors just as long. I think if I were to choose who I'd be cast as if there was a reboot, I'd say either Phoebe or Paige and it's because I relate to them the most. Um, but I really do love Piper because honestly I aspire to be just like her. You know, successful, married with kids, and <laughs> kicking ass for the greater good, you know? Now, Prue is great too. It's just, she's kind of authoritative, you know? Like I said, I relate to Paige and Phoebe the most, and they don't really like authority. So, in honor of the show, I decided to act out some of the funniest moments of each sister in order of seniority. Enjoy! Now let's start with Prue. That's for thinking you would get away with it. And that's for thinking you wouldn't get slapped. Well, either we can rely on our vicious guard cat to protect us, or we can remember to lock the doors. I don't like them, but I don't go running through the house naked screaming run for your life either. <sighs> Innocents in alleys, don't they ever learn without opening a fast food franchise? Yeah. <laughs> Better listen to Grams, Phoebe. I mean, you could always calculate her age by the number of rings on her finger. Now the all-awesome Piper. Do your homework, pick the right restaurants, the perfect wine, waiting and chilled. But it helps if you show up. Everything is just so bright and cheery and ruffly. This thing makes me look like a... Hmm. I guess you don't know me very well, do ya? What are you exactly? Ghost? Demon? Poltergeist? Nightmare. That was why it's preschool. I wonder what they wanted. It just doesn't sound right. Why would demons attack when the phone rings? Wait. The last attack happened when the preschool called too, didn't it? That's ridiculous. One. One lousy dragon and you're gonna hold it against him for his entire life. Now, on to Phoebe. And you know what we did? We saw a fairy and she was very cute and she was sparkly and she was really, really pretty. Wait a minute. Life-altering plants cannot be squeezed in between past the newspaper and who ate the special K. I slept with my boss. No, Elise. Yes, of course, Jason. Cupid. The elders send him down here to help me find true love. How insulting is that? There's dark lighters after us, and one of them's got Piper and Leo trapped. Or in the spirit realm. Right. We made contact with them, but then we lost them. So we need to figure out how to use the dark lighters portal to get them out. Finally, Paige. Do I look like a ma'am to you? I was just at magic school, taking Wyatt to the nursery, and he's fine, I might add. And the student bumped into me and said, Excuse me. You didn't let me finish. He said, Excuse me, ma'am. Do I look like a ma'am? You were a demon and a lawyer? Insert joke here. Well, it's called magic, Kanisha. Witchcraft, specifically. I really love your jacket. Call me butter cause I'm on a roll. Power. Power's good. I like power. Why do I like power? 
probably to a mental institution. Now I hope you enjoyed that just as much as I enjoyed making it. If you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not a short. Love you guys. Bye.